am Divya. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to study four important shortcut formulas in trigonometry by which you can solve those difficult height and distance questions within seconds. These are our four formulas. You can use these formulas when questions are given with two angles on the same side and you are asked to find the distance or the height. Let us check the first case. Here the angles are 60 degree and 45 degree. The value of h in this case is equal to cd into root 3 by root 3 minus 1. What is cd? cd is the distance between the point c and d. And our second case is with the angle 60 degree and 30 degree. And in that case, the value of h that is height is equal to cd into root 3 by 2. The third case is with the angles 45 degree and 30 degree. And here h is equal to cd by root 3 minus 1. And in fourth case, the angles are 30 degree and 15 degree. And here the value of h is equal to cd by 2. By by hurting all these four formulas, you can easily solve those difficult height and distance questions, which usually you take a lot of time during your competitive exam. In all competitive exams, questions will be asked only with the standard trigonometric angles. So you don't bother about any other values. For better understanding, we'll do some examples. Let us solve our first example. Here the question is, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower at a point on the ground is 30 degree. On walking 24 meter towards the tower, the angle of elevation becomes 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. How can we solve this question? First, we'll draw the figure. Here, it is given that the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground is 30 degree. So I'm drawing AB as tower and from a point I'm taking it as D the angle of elevation to the top of a tower is 30 degree. It is given here. Then on walking 24 meter towards the tower that means is walking in this direction on walking 24 meter towards the tower, the angle of elevation becomes 60 degree. So from this point, I'm taking it as C, the angle of elevation is 60 degree. And the distance is 24. So find the height of the tower. And it is asked to find the height of AB in our picture. So how can we find the height? You see here the angles are 60 degree and 30 degree. For that, we know the formula to find h is equal to cd into root 3 by 2. Then here, what is the value of cd? cd is 24. So I am substituting it here, 24 root 3 by 2. We can cancel 2 in 24. So it will be 12. So the final answer will be 12 root 3. Let us solve our second question. Here our question is, a Navy captain going away from a lighthouse at the speed of 4 root 3 minus 1 meter per second. He observes that it takes him 1 minute to change the angle of elevation of the top of lighthouse from 60 degree to 45 degree. Find the height of lighthouse in meters. And this is a CGL tier 2 2017 question. Let us see how to solve this question. First, I am going to draw the figure. Here it is given that a navy captain is going away from a lighthouse. So I am drawing a lighthouse as AB here and taking the height as h then the navy captain is moving away from the lighthouse so he is moving in this direction and he observes that it takes him one minute to change the angle of elevation of the top of lighthouse from 60 degree to 45 degree that is initially he was at a point and at that point the angle of elevation of the tower was 60 degree then he moved to another point d and at that point, the angle of elevation is 45 degree. And it is given that it took one minute to change the angle of elevation. So it took one minute to travel this distance. And please note it down that this is not the distance. Here it is given the time. So now it is asked to find the height of the lighthouse. So how can we find the height of the lighthouse? We know that for angle 60 degree and 45 degree to find height, the Formula is cd into root 3 by root 3 minus 1. And now we have to substitute the value of cd. And what is cd here? It is given in terms of time. So we need to find the distance. And how can we find the distance? The basic formula to find the distance is 
speed into time and it is given that the speed is 4 root 3 minus 1. So here it will be 4 root 3 minus 1 into time. Time is given as 1 minute that is 60 seconds. So the distance will be 240 into root 3 minus 1. So now we can substitute the distance between C and D in this equation. So here it will be 240 into root 3 minus 1 into root 3 whole divided by root 3 minus 1. So we can cancel this root 3 minus 1 and root 3 minus 1. So our final answer will be 240 root 3. Hope this video was helpful. For more videos, please visit and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.